The way to stop bullying yourself is to actually have a conversation with yourself. Instead of just replaying your worst hits over and over again like a broken record. You think it's a conversation, but it's actually... You're actually not talking to yourself. You're kind of just... You're just replaying bad stuff over and over again. My name's Louis Angel. If you don't know who I am, I make self-improvement videos. And this video, we're talking about the common human phenomena of negative self-talk and one way to get over it. So... The context for this is today, actually. Today, I had the same negative self-talk that I usually have these days, and I was able to get over it in a way that I normally don't, and I repeated it just now getting in this car. Like, <laughs> the negative thoughts, man, they're always coming at you. They are relentless. Um, this morning, I was thinking about this girl that I basically blew it with, and like literally just a little bit after I initially blew with her like the first time it was a very long thing she told me that she had like a an apprentice chef in Japan who before that was working in IT and now he worked as a chef as an apprentice a bit I think he was actually just an outright chef now and I, and he was the same age as me at the time 23 and it was like damn I'm still finishing my bachelor's and this guy's already like on his second career and some other guy and some other guy who's around the same age as me and fast forward to now and I just found out this girl was speaking with a private a private air pilot so for private jets who also did financial consulting on the side and an older man who was a rich artist and very interesting and like two other friends who confessed to her and some other and a third friend who was like hey if you ever need a rebound i'm here and as a 25 year old who's like you know same place you are struggling to make it through the world like you you can you you know that I felt pretty bad about that private jet pilot and the artist and the guy who was my age and already been through two careers. And this naturally comes up many, many times in my head through negative self-talk. Do you know what the old me would have done when that negative self-talk started? I would have gone to my room, closed the door, and fapped. Because I couldn't handle the any negative emotion so i had to go to instant gratification the only way i knew how to get over it and what i did this time is i went to my room and i started talking to myself like a mature adult so this is a strategy i discovered over the summer and i've only used i used it a bit back then but i'm starting to use it again now where i basically take on two personas one is like a more adult mature version of myself and one is like a more childish and emotional version of myself basically splitting my different facets into two personalities and i literally have a conversation with myself mostly from the mature adult person where i'm t giving myself advice the advice like because really like self-improvement stuff aside books and videos and youtube stuff aside you 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 know deep down inside what you have to do. You just don't do it. You don't say it. You don't say, like, you know the thoughts you're supposed to be having, but instead you indulge in these negative th self-talk because it feels good in a way. It feels good to be a victim. It feels good, like, bad, yeah, but good to talk, bully yourself. So I took this compassionate, no-nonsense, caring persona, and I coached myself through it with literally the same self-improvement stuff I've been reading for a very long time, all the same maxims, all the same platitudes. Uh, I don't know if platitude is the exact word I needed, but all the same maxims and axioms, stoicism, Buddhism, self-improvement, seven habits of highly effective people, yada, yada, yada. And I got through it. And by the end of it, I was ready to get back to work. And it just happened just now while getting into the car uh, before making this video. Same exact thoughts. And I coached myself through it again. This time while looking in the car mirror, like the little mirror there. And it felt really intimate talking to myself and looking at myself in the in the eyes rather than like journaling where I'm just writing. Like journaling is a good step, but I really recommend going to the mirror and talking to yourself. Or you don't need a mirror. Just talk to yourself as is. Out loud, not in whispering. So if you don't have a quiet place, just go to your parents' cars and close the doors. Tell them you're going to be like working through some things if you have to tell them. But yeah, find a quiet place and do it. The car's available. Or if you're in college, uh, find another place. You, you can find a place. Trust me, you can. You just got to look for it. One more thing on that is that the mature person, the mature aspect of my personality that I take is like guiding, like an elder brother. But he also gives, even though he's no nonsense, he gives the other me love. Like, 
I love you, man. You're great. And the other me is like admiring and like actually talking up to myself, which, you know, normally you never do like, oh, I'm so grateful to have you. You're so disciplined. I'm grateful for all the hard work you do and for putting up with me and dragging me along. This is actually the way I used to talk to the girl. Like she was always so no nonsense and disciplined and really helping me along and helping me grow. This is how I used to talk to her. And I'm, I'm talking to myself that way as someone that I love and admire. And then the, the me that's like more mature is like, Hey man, I love you too. Like you're so, you're sen I know that like you, th you feel bad that you're so sensitive and emotional. You think it doesn't help, but like you're the reason we are such a kind and loving and compassionate person. You are the reason you, you make it all worthwhile. Cause otherwise it would just be grind and grind and grind. I, r I really appreciate you too, man. I love you. I'm having a conversation with myself as a friend, as a mentor and trainee, as a, as lovers. Like I, in that moment, it feels like you really love yourself. And you also get down to brass tacks, get rid of all the negative, like, if I may be crude, the little bitch emotions. Like, you, 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 at the end, by the end of the conversation, I'm like, man, stop being a little bitch. Like, let's just get on with it. And the le the very last thing I'll touch on, because I spoke about it a bit, is the victim complex. It feels good to have a victim complex, but you are not a victim. You are not a victim. Look up, this is something I tell myself. Look up the Harry Harlow monkey experiments. They took these monkeys, these Reese's monkeys, and they put them in literal dungeons, like these dark, cold, metallic containers where they were not able to socialize with their mothers or any other monkeys. They put them in there from infancy to their adulthood for their entire life and only gave them food and water. And when they took them out, those monkeys didn't know how to socialize. Some of them killed themselves by not eating and some of them were mothers they forcibly impregnated them by putting them on rape racks and then you know how they treated their children one of them crushed their child's head and bit his fingers off imagine being that monkey imagine you're a baby monkey coming to its mother for love and the, your mother bites your fingers off and crushes your head Look up, I think they're called shoehorn bills. Look up shoehorn or shoe bill birds on YouTube. Mother. There's this one video where like there's two ch chicks and the little ch the uh, the stronger chick is bullying the other one, like pecking it ruthlessly until it bleeds. The mother comes back and finds them and the bloody chick goes to its mother looking for comfort like, mom, please save me. And the mother prioritizes the stronger one. She gives all her food to the stronger one because that's the way those animals are. The chick that went to its mother for help after being ruthlessly beaten was just ignored. There are dogs. I, I don't know if this is reaching you. Like, I love animals and this, like, burns my soul. There, I'm subscribed to so many, like, dog rescue accounts on, on Instagram. There are all these dogs suffering and crippled and beaten. All There are people out there in wheelchairs and everything. And you're here, like, because you can't get a girl or, like, you're having trouble doing work, like, crying like a little bitch. I'm not trying to make you be, in, I'm not trying to be insensitive to you. This is the conversation I had with myself at the end. After I, assur after I assured myself that I love myself, I got down a brass tacks like dude you're not a victim you're in this world to help other people to help your family to help your parents with medical bills to help animals one day like stop being a little bitch you gotta help people let me know in the comments if anything in this video helped and also let me know if the longer videos are what you prefer or you prefer shorter videos see you man peace